Twitch is one of the most popular platforms for streaming games online. In this video, I've collected and compiled a few different ways that you can record these streams for later viewing. Number 3. Using Camtasia Camtasia does make video editing quite easy, and with the assistance of their drag and drop video editor, you can put together multiple streams and connect them. Although the tools are quite easy to use, and there are plenty of neat effects, the editing software is quite expensive, and it doesn't come with many options for video codec or quality. Number 2. Using Open Broadcaster Software OBS is completely open source and free for all types of live streaming and screen capturing. You can download and start using this program quite quickly for game capture, and as it is open source, it's quite easy to make modifications or download extensions for the program. The biggest problem with this program is that it features only limited editing capabilities and only a few codecs for video capture. Number 1. Using Filmora Screen Filmora Screen is a powerful yet easy to use game recorder and editor. Comparing to regular screen recorders, there are two most remarkable advantages. It's capable to record some popular heavy games. What's more, it has a built-in editing suite for you to edit video, image, audio, and text, add effects, annotations, etc. Therefore, Filmora Screen is all you need to create awesome gameplays or tutorial videos. All right, let's take a peek into it. If you haven't had it yet, click the link in the description below to visit filmora.wondershare.com slash screen dash recorder. Then, simply click free download to start your trial. Once you double click to open the program, you'll see three options from this interface, get started, quick capture, and video editor. Let's click get started to land on this intuitive interface where you can customize recording settings a little bit. In screen module, under screen capture dropdown, you can choose from recording full screen, recording a custom size area, or a target program. In Frame Rate drop down menu, you can select the desired frame rate per second of your video. If you select Game, you can find that Filmora's screen automatically detects a list of games in your computer. Just select your target game and choose a frame rate from 15 FPS all the way to maximum 120 FPS. But in most cases, 60 is enough. In Audio Module, you can choose to turn on or off the computer audio or microphone. By the way, Filmora's screen also supports webcam recording if you like making reaction video. In Advanced Settings, you can choose Destination Folder to save your recordings or customize hotkeys. Alright, let's click Capture and back to your game interface. Click Start Capturing button to roll. Now, notice that the pop-up is minimized to a bar displaying your recording time. When you finish, click Stop button or End with the hotkey, and you'll be automatically directed to the Clip Media Library, where you can preview the gameplay or capture more clips. Then, select Export to Editor and click Go to begin editing. To start with, drag your clips to the timeline and it'll split into a video track and an audio track. You can mute or delete audio track if necessary. Then, we can crop, move, or rotate the video, or trim out the unwanted parts. It also allows you to change the speed in a super easy way. Simply click the edge of the track and press and hold control while dragging the edge to speed up or slow down. To quick review the clip, just right click, hold, and drag. In Annotation Library, you can choose from lots of fancy annotation templates to apply on your video. Simply drag the annotation to the timeline, double click to add your text, and adjust the font style. In this way, you'll make your video more engaging. Another useful feature you might want to know is Cursor. You can add effects like highlight, rings, as well as click sound. Simply drag it to the timeline and you'll further adjust its size, transparency, and color. In addition to that, Filmora Screen also comes with an interesting feature called Hot Key Tips. It can automatically detect and display the keys you have pressed during the recording. You also have the manipulation on its size, position, style, color, and transparency to deliver a better tutorial. Lastly, click Export. Choose a format from MP4, MOV, or GIF. Set the encoder, frame rate, etc., and your video is ready to go. All right. 
Hope these will help you find the best way to record Twitch streams. Click the link in the description box below to visit filmorum.wondershare.com and download a free trial version to get started now. Thanks for watching.